welcome back to the spider's web and we're carrying on with our talisman figures today and this week not oh, this week this uh, this uh, little painting series is going to be on the elementalist now as you can see the elementalist has fire and water there he's got what looks like a red ish colored um, armor plating with gold edges and a um, tan coloured cape very elven looking with black hair so that's how we're going to do it but I think what we might do is reverse <coughs> the colours so instead of having that being fire and water we'll have that being fire in fact no yeah we'll have that being water rather and that being fire it makes more sense doesn't it <laughs> so let's get stuff out that we actually need so for the flesh colour we're going to be using Ungar flesh <coughs> so after giving it a shake we'll get some of it now brush and apply it to our wet palette. We don't need a great amount of this because there's not a lot of flesh <coughs> on display with this model. Um, but what we'll do, as usual, is go over everywhere that we see as being flesh. <clears throat> so that's the face. Don't forget the ears, which is the part I usually do forget to do. If you've seen any of my videos before, you usually, you'll find out that I usually have to go back and correct the ears. There's not much in the line of detail in this face, unfortunately. As you may be able to see. Um, But never mind. I think by the look of that he's wearing gloves. <coughs> you can't see his other hand because it's actually embedded in there. <coughs> I think then, if that's the case, that better being water and that fire because if it was the other way around he would obviously burn his hand because there's no... <coughs> um, what do you call it? There's no... Uh, section there for his hand so it will look as though that's going to be fire and that water and that's it for his flesh i put way too much of the younger flesh out never mind never mind never never mind so next we want um steel legion drab where i can find it um we're on earth have you gone the wasn't in the top after all um so it's still legion grab and this is the one we're going to be using for his cape and obviously because there's a lot more of the cape we'll be using a lot more of the paint but <coughs> seeing as now we didn't use a great lot <coughs> of the Ungar flesh we still may not need a lot of this but we will find out as we apply it the um, I'm saying I was going to say something then, I forgot what I was going to say then, never mind. Okay, so we're going to apply this to all of the cape, front and back. Um, and we have to watch and make sure we do just the cape and not um, any of the flame or the water. Even though, saying that, 
we will be painting over the fire and the water areas with the white so if you do get a little bit on don't worry about it <coughs> the um Like these models are very very easy to paint very quick as well to paint I'm not waiting for ages for a large amount of wash or something to dry before I can carry on with these and the only drawback with these is sometimes the um, details are lost like in the face on this particular model um, <coughs> which is something you have to put up with because they're not 28 mil they're not massively detailed anyway they are what they are they are game they are playing pieces for a game um, so as long as they look when they're painted um, as they should do, that really is all that matters. <clears throat> That's the reason really why we paint all our models, to make them look better. down here like so there we are. okay next what we're going to be doing is um, I'm just leaping the, the power cable for my camera over one of the clips in my stand just get in the way of my brush <coughs> Right, so next what we're doing is using Abaddon Black. We're going to be going over the small amount of her that is shown on this model. Again, we don't want a great deal. But we do want enough to do the job. this be careful we don't go over the the skin areas it's a little more difficult trying to go over black with a pale colour when you're doing a painting technique like this where it's all watery paint um, that. Next what we're going to be doing is using the darkest red colour we have which is Wasdaka Red. It's a really dumpty too, that one. <coughs> we're going to be going over all the armour areas. Now we will be going back over the trim of the armor with um, gold. This is this very watery mix. It's got on the palette and it's just spread out. Obviously, a little pool of water. It wasn't a word. Was the um, so to try and spread this out a little bit more than you normally would, um, well, I'm going to 
spread this out a little more than I normally would. Um, because I don't want it obscuring what detail there is on this model. There is quite a bit of detail in the actual um, armour. And there is something I want to try and keep if we possibly can. As you can see from the the palette, this paint has gone a little bit crazy on the, on the way it's uh, reacting. So there's a pool of a little pool of water that I wasn't expecting to be there. is not a great issue we can sort sort out things like this as time goes on um, I've found some Paint that seems to actually want to cover the surface. Work with this. So we're going to go over all the armor areas, um, even the bits that are going to be gold. We're just going to cover in the red, and we will. With this actually um, unintentionally, but we will be. Uh, unfortunately, uh, hitting some of the areas that we don't want to be red. Oh, yeah. Now, I think that's it all done. Covered. I'm saying that, but obviously I have missed pieces because I'm still painting. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that now is that. The next colour we want will be a colour to go on the um, <coughs> flame and the water areas. Um, if I can see it. Well, has it gone? I've got the new tub out, but I think I've got I should have some in an older tub that should work fine for the thing we're doing. Yes, that's it. And we're going to be using for this white scar. So there should be enough. To do this job. Covering all the areas that are going to be water and flame. For this, bear in mind all we're doing at the moment is, is adding base coats. We're not actually painting um, 
when we are painting but we're not actually adding detail to this model and being fussed about the details on the model we're just covering over making sure all areas we've got that covering of paint um, you have to work with this now I'm doing the white um, for this because it gives a much paler um, base to work with um, it will give much brighter colours, much more vivid colours, which is what we want. Plus we're using washes for this, predominantly, um, well for the, the water that we're doing now, we'll be using washes. Um, for the flame we'll be doing like a wet blending technique, going from whites to yellows, orange, red. About the very extremities black now, how's the underside of this been done it doesn't look like it let's get some white on the sub subject shall we <laughs> As we say, try and get around all the colours. Um, don't be going over, or try your best not to go over any of the colours that we just put on. But if you do, you can always touch up later. Not an issue. Okay, cool. okay that's done. We might have to come back and give it another coat later to make sure everywhere is has an even coat of white which in some cases it doesn't look because there's a few crevices that I'm struggling to try and get in with my brush um, but I want to make sure there's none of the grey undercoat or the grey primer showing at any part and now we can do the same with the flame here at the bottom of the model um, now then this is going to be the um, brightest and hottest part of the model where his hand is Brightest and hottest part of the flame where he's handy, so it's going to be a very pale colour anyway here, and then it will be um, darkening in colour as it goes further along. Um, let's hope I can do the flames of the model, or the flames on the model rather, um, as well as I, I'm hoping I can. As you're at the mercy of the way the paint flows sometimes, the way the water flows with the paint. Um, there's no guarantee it's going to go where you want it. But majority of the time you can try your best. Well, all the time you can try your best to control it. Just don't rush. Take your time. It's not a race. Just enjoy the experience of painting. And when you've done, you can sit back and say, I did that. I mean, I suppose if I'd have thought about it, first of all, this model I should have actually primed in white, but, oh well, never mind, I just got them all on my little board. And, um, 
and I just sprayed them. So afterwards when I realised about this one, but I'll say it's not an issue. As long as it's primed, it doesn't matter. I always sort things out. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost done, almost all good. A little bit more than I thought I had to do yet. Um, again, we'll just try and make it so that everything is covered in white and we get a good coating. Um, I'll come back off camera and have a look and if it's if it needs another coat I will give it another coat off camera. I just want to sh I just want to show you what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> obviously you don't need to see me just keep going over and over and over and um, the same thing in the same colour just to get a a good coat. Oh yeah so that's what we've got so far. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to touch up with a little bit of red here and there. Um, and hopefully, do that now. And funnily enough, the white, or the white, the um, the water's all pulled up in certain places and not allowing the paint to stick. So I'm sorry, I'm going to have to wait until it's uh, fully dried before I can do a lot more to this. <coughs> I was hoping I'd be able to get a little bit further but not to worry I'm trying to make this quite a bright red and Which means which could mean going over a couple of times before I uh, start highlighting. It's gonna, I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna be going over it anyway and uh, with a wash. But there you go, you see what we <coughs> you see what we're getting at here. I'll leave this to dry now and when we come back we can do a little bit more highlighting. <coughs> And uh, see how we go from there. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 